Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite techniques to put fish in the boat. Whether I'm fishing a tournament where fishing is drastically tough and I need a few bites, or maybe I've got my kids out in the boat and I want them to catch a few fish, or I'm out on a guide trip with some inexperienced anglers and they're looking to catch a few fish, these five techniques are foolproof techniques. They will catch more fish than pretty much any other technique out there. And because of that, they're very well known at the same time. But if you're looking just to catch a few fish, these are some of the best ones to throw. And at the same time, they still offer a phenomenal shot at catching a true trophy size fish. So you're not limiting yourself just to small fish, but really what they do is they generate more bites. So we'll get right into this. I will put links for each of these baits in the video description uh, to Tackle Warehouse. So if you're looking to purchase Tackle and you wanna support my channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. You can even take the link and bookmark it uh, for future uses so you don't even have to think about it. Also guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel and you watch on a regular basis, might as well subscribe. That's another great way to show your support and very, very much appreciated as well. All right, so let's dive right into some of these baits. One of my absolute favorites is a Ned Rig. This happens to be the Maxent Little General by Berkeley with a Fusion 19 little uh, Ned Head style bait here. These things are amazing fish catching tools that just generate a lot of bites, especially if you happen to be fishing in the North Country where you have smallmouth. I don't know what it is about a Ned Rig, but a smallmouth just finds that as being candy and they really have a hard time turning it down. Absolutely works very well for largemouth and spotted bass as well. Uh, but if I'm in the North Country, this is gonna be one of the first go-to baits that I've got. Uh, just, a, just a great little morsel that the fish have a hard time turning down. Next up, and again, this is pretty much everywhere you go, a small little boot tail swim bait. So this is a 2.8 Kitek Fat Impact swim bait. I've got it on one of the new Core Tackle Finesse Tush hooks. So you can see how well that fits inside of a 2.8. But a small swim bait is a uh, dynamic fish catching tool that works really from two feet of water down to 30 feet of water if you have a heavy enough bait on but it generates a ton of bites, not just from bass, but if you happen to have white bass or walleye, crappie, perch, a little swim bait like that is something that generates a ton of bites. And you still have the shot at really big fish. But the one of the other keys to this is you really can just cast and straight retrieve. So if you're talking about inexperienced anglers, you throw it out, straight retrieve at a nice slow pace, and it will generate a lot of bites in its own right. Next up, just your soft stick bait, wacky rigged, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, uh, technique for generating lots of bites. This is one of those baits that really, you know, when fishing's tough, you can just go down the bank, generally throwing at targets, throwing at docks, throwing at laydowns, and you will generate some bites still on it. We've seen a lot of guys like John Cox make an absolute living on a wacky rig. I won the Mississippi River Tournament last year, the MLF Invitational on a Wacky Rig. It's just a fish catching machine. You know, it came out with the Yamamoto Cinco. Since then, pretty much every plastics maker out there has a version of a soft stick bait because of how well they catch fish uh, and how easy they are to fish. Put a hook in it, throw it out, let the bait fall, and it will generate strikes from that standpoint. So a really good fish catching tool. Next up, Go with your traditional drop shots. Drop shots is a really easy technique. I personally think a bait like the Max Scent right here, this is a Max Scent flatworm, uh, is one of the best all around baits to throw out there for all the species. But a, a drop shot allows you to keep a bait slightly suspended off the bottom and very, very easy to fish again. Pretty much throw it out, let it sit on the bottom, move it a little bit, reel it up, make another cast. Very simple to do. Uh, and it just seems to generate a lot of bites. There have been a lot of tournaments that have won where uh, when the fishing was at its toughest, the anglers that were throwing a drop shot really were the ones to capitalize. And again, you can fish that bait from shallow to deep. You can fish it in cover if you have a weedless drop shot on. Really good technique if it's something that you're not familiar with and it generates a ton of bites. 
And then the last one I'm going to throw in here is the old Core Tackle Hover Rig. Really good way at generating bites uh, from just fish that are suspended in the water column. Under docks, if they're up on the bank, you can fish them pretty much everywhere. It's a very, very light weighted jig head inside of the bait. You let the bait do the action on its own. You throw it out, pretty much let it fall. And then at that point, if you want to slowly reel it and twitch it, you can do that. It's kind of a hybrid between a wacky rig and a Ned rig and a swim bait all in one. Uh, just another fish catching tool that really the fish haven't seen for that long, but it's one of the best presentations at mimicking the forage species that are in lakes across the country. But those five techniques slash baits are ones that I have tied on pretty much every tournament I go, but at the same time, they're some of the best baits that you can give to a beginner or an inexperienced angler and have them catch not just a fish, but numbers of fish with them. So give those a try if you haven't already. I'll put links, like I said, to those specific baits if that interests you in the video description. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support and stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.